we're going to look at how to do a two-sample test of proportions in Stata version 12 and earlier. We're conducting a two-sample test where the proportion in group 1 is 0.25 and the proportion in group 2 is 0.1. We are conducting our test at the 0.05 significance level. It's a two-sided test and we're trying to figure out how many people we would need to sample to achieve 90% power. Again, to do our sample size calculation, we're going to use the SAMPSI command. On the main tab, we're now going to select two sample comparison of proportions. The proportion in group 1 is 0.25 and the proportion in group 2 is 0.1. Now we go to the options tab. We're looking to compute sample size. Our significance level is 0.05 and we're looking to achieve 90% power. We are conducting a two-sided test and make sure that you check this box that says do not use continuity correction. We haven't learned what the continuity correction is in this class and it's perfectly fine to do your power calculations without this correction. So we find that we would need 133 people per group to achieve 90% power in this example. Suppose now that we're interested in knowing how much power we would have if we were only able to, to sample 100 people per group. Again, use the SAMPSI command. We can leave the proportions in group 1 and 2 the same on the main tab, but simply go to the options tab and now say that we want to compute power. We're using an equal allocation ratio, so the ratio of sample sizes is 1, and the sample size in group 1 is 100. It's also the sample size in group 2. We're using a two-sided test. We do not want to use the continuity correction and the significance level is 0.05. Now we see that we would have about 80% power to detect an effect if we used 100 people per group as our sample size.